This look is a celebration of my two favorite things, the moon and a dash of nostalgic love. I'll be featuring this exquisite beauty brand called Mao Gu Ping. Look at how beautiful this packaging is. So this collection is a collaboration with the Forbidden City of China, celebrating its 600 years anniversary. I'm gonna start my base makeup with this cushion. Honestly, it's way too pretty to use. Before I begin, I'm gonna use this glue stick to cover the tail end of my brows. This gives me more creative freedom for my brows. So while it's drying, I'm gonna prep my lips with lip cushion to keep them soft. Now it's time for my base makeup. So I noticed right away that this cushion has a pretty high coverage. It covered all the redness I had from a recent laser treatment. It's pretty impressive. So I'm just patting the cushion until the formula is well blended. Now I'll be using this eyeshadow palette. I'm starting off with this satin sorbet color as my base eyeshadow. Try to keep the color within the crease. Next is this Bordeaux color, which I'm using for the outer wing. Whatever's left over on the brush, deposit the color on the lower lash line towards the inner rim. This will help balance out the eyes so that it's not too top heavy. With a brown gel liner of choice, line your upper waterline to darken the lash line. Then line the eyes. I prefer using a tiny brush like this to carefully draw out my cat eye. Using a small flat brush with concealer, clean up the edge. For this look, I'm styling my brows differently. I'm extending the tail end of my brows higher and straighter, and I'll keep working at it until I get my brows 70% there, then I'll finish it later. With my liquid liner, darken the lash line to get them ready for mascara and lashes. I have here this Lunar Romance collection by Doe, using my tried and true Morning Dew Lash. Finding your right lash style is so personal. These lashes fit like my favorite pair of sneakers, but they look like stilettos. So I'll push them up like this to make sure they're fitted. And now I can finish the rest of my eye makeup and do any detailing work. Drawing a thin point on the inner corner of my eyes and fake little lashes on my lower lash line. This is going to accentuate my eye shape. Now I'll be using this blush. With this color, I'm adding it to where I'd normally contour, like the sides of my cheekbones and on my nose like this. Using this delicate finishing powder, I'll just do a light wash across my cheeks and nose. With my normal contour color, I'll apply this on the sides of my nose for that pronounced illusion. Using this highlighting shade, I'm gonna tap some on the tip of my nose, nose bridge, and the ball of my eyes, and high points on my cheekbones. Now it's time to exfoliate the lips to get them ready. And using their signature red color, and with a brush, I'm depositing the color first to saturate my lips. Then using my tissue, blotting away to leave behind a stain. So I mix the same red with my favorite nude lip color to create this soft rose, using a brush for that soft airbrush finish. And just clean the edges with the cushion. And now we're finished. This is my lunar romance look. So my friend works with a brand and reached out to me to collaborate. I thought it would be cool to show you a behind the scenes look at the creation of some of these gorgeous beauty visuals. So we're here at my friend's studio, Miss Robot, where we can experiment with all sorts of stuff. And here's the final video. Mao Ku Ping was founded by a famous Chinese makeup artist, Mao Ku Ping, 20 years ago. 
His products are inspired by Chinese classical poetry, paintings, and costumes to reflect the country's rich history. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck.